Hey Gemini, it's Suzanne with Sunny Forest Tarot, here to do your weekly reading for July 22nd through the 29th. Um, we're going to switch it up a little bit this week. That was a terrible shuffle. Um, we're going to take a deeper dive and just look at the person you're watching the video for today. Um, just get maybe a little more information on what's going on with them, what they're thinking, doing, feeling. Okay, so, and I'm going to use two separate decks for this reading as well, just to get as much information as possible that has proved helpful this week. All right, and for those of you who watch my readings, you know that I don't do reversals in general readings. I don't feel it's necessary, but that is just my opinion. It's not wrong for anyone else to do that. Okay, so that's the first deck, second deck, and this is the Arcanum deck, and then I'm using the Thelema deck here. I haven't really been saying that in a lot of the readings this week. What the? Let's try that again. All right, let's see. Okie doke. Let's see what we have for Gemini. First card, Judgment. Um, Aquarius got that in the same spot. King of Swords. Okay. All right, so, you know, this is air energy so this could be you, you know your person could be an air sign um so this person wants to be with you okay judgment is reconciliation rebirth and you know coming together and this King of Swords, you know, only comes from a place of truth. So their truth is, is that they want to be with you. So we could just end the reading right there. <laughs> um, we have the Five of Swords. So it's not that simple. And we have the Hermit. Okay, so there's some reason that this person is fighting this and you know I feel like this is internal because we have the hermit here so you know they're doing a lot of reflecting on the interactions that you guys have had in the past this is what's in their deep knowing you know if they wanted to just make it simple for themselves they would just acknowledge this but, you know, they can't make it that simple. So, you know, they are struggling here with something. Let's see what that something may be. Their heart's desire. The star. All right. So, again, <laughs> you know, who fights their heart's desire, right? Who fights that? We need more clarification there. All right, so we have the Seven of Wands. Seven of Wands and Seven Five of Swords is the energy in for this person, I feel it's internal. I feel like they feel like they would have to defend this connection for some reason. 
They would have to defend their heart's desire. And that's what they're internally struggling with for some reason. And of course we have, I feel like whenever we get the hermit, we get the hangman. All right, they're trying to look at things from a different perspective. They're trying to look at things from a different perspective and trying to figure out how to make this work. Okay, so I don't know what other reading I spoke to this in, but what this comes down to is if this person was just truly being authentic with their heart's desire, which I feel is you in this case, okay, um, it would be very simple. So this, all of this other energy is about, really about concerns about what other people think. There's something that they're concerned about as to what other people would think about this connection. We get the Seven of Swords. and the devil. Okay. So I feel like this is the challenge for them. So the devil is really about doing what's easy. It really. I mean, devil is temptation. It's easy to follow your temptation. It's not easy to follow what you authentically think is right for you or what, you know, what authentically is right for you, you know? And it's like the Seven of Swords is like this person is, they're stealing from, like this is their future, okay? These swords represent their future and they're stealing from their future to make something easy right now. is what they're doing. Why are they doing that? Let's find out. Why would they steal from their future? We have the two of swords because they're struggling making a decision. Yep, we see that right here. They're struggling to make a decision and they're blocking. They're blocking what they authentically know they need to do because it's not the easiest decision to make because there's some energy of other people. They're worried about what other people think. It doesn't matter. It, it just doesn't matter. The moon. Fear. They're afraid. They're afraid to follow what they authentically know is the right path for them. Hierophant. Which is a spiritual commitment. They're afraid of the spiritual commitment which is this connection. I mean, that's what we're dealing with here. We have a ton of major arcana. One, the moon, the hierophant, the hangman, the devil, the hermit. Universe is trying to push this person out of doing what's easy and making the commitment to authentically follow what this person knows is right for them. Let's see what this person is afraid of. Two of Wands, that they're going to make the wrong choice, that they're going to make the wrong decision. They can't make the wrong decision if they, you know, follow what they authentically feel in their heart. But they're afraid they're going to make the wrong decision and the fallout is going to be, you know, the, the judgment of other people. The 
What is the advice for this connection? Two of Pentacles. Holy cow. Look at that. Two, two, two. You know what two, two, two means? It means that you're following the right path. Look it up. Okay? That's the advice. Not even this card. Two, two, two means that the choice that this person makes, okay, their authentic self makes is the right path. This right here is the right path. We knew what the outcome was supposed to be in the first two cards. This person is on the right path, but they're taking the long way to get there. They're just taking the long way to get there. That's kind of that's kind of a that's kind of a fun thing that came out like that. That's interesting. Let's see what the oracles say. You are stronger than you know. So that's advice to this person. This person is stronger than they know to make the right decision and be on the right path towards you, towards what they authentically know is right for them. End of an era. Yeah, you know, it, it does feel like something is, you know, after this person, you know, gets out of this energy of, fearing not making the right choice that will be the end of an era so they can come together and be authentically who they are yep wow that was fast i don't know why that went so fast it was some of the readings this week have been extremely clear you know, and, you know, this 222, two, two, which I personally strongly resonate with, that's, that's the advice here. This person is on the right path, but they're taking, they're taking the long way because what's keeping them from, you know, from being on this direct path is this devil energy trying to take the, trying to figure out the easiest way to do it instead of just doing it the right way that's their problem gemini that's your person's challenge right now because they know what you know fulfills them what brings them their their heart's desire there's that that's not the question the question for this person is, you know, how do I do this and please everybody at the same time? Which you can't. You can't do it. You know, and, you know, if you're afraid of a little bit of confrontation along the way to support what you believe authentically, then you're going to have a rough time. And this person is taking the long route to get to where they want to go, which is their heart's desire, which is you and that showed up right from the beginning you know and that's that's the story <laughs> that's the story so let's see you know maybe let's pull two more cards what would what would help this person make it easier um, you know to do what is authentically true to them Three of Pentacles coming together and collaborating with you. That's what would help them. Which is right here. All they have to do is do the right thing for themselves. It's like it's like going in a circle. That's what they need to do to get out of the devil energy and move towards 
their heart's desire. They just need to come together with you. All right, Gemini, that is what I have for you for this week. I will talk to you at the August reading. All right, have a great week. Bye-bye.